Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Well, the weekend's here again. It's uh, Saturday 19th of October, 20 past seven in the morning. So I'm gonna go down and do a little bit more work. I'm actually almost there, just around the corner and we'll be arriving. It's been raining again all week. So the ground will be very, very wet, but uh, that will not stop me from getting on with the job. So what will I get up to this weekend as I just pull into the entrance? There we go. Let's find out. <laughs> So it's a beautiful morning, sun's just coming up and the plan today is to collect a few little trees and bushes just to fill in some of the gaps that we've got on the, uh, the hedge line across there in the distance and there's a couple of little tiny gaps here at the side of the road. Remember that uh, as I cleared out this patch near the road, I deliberately left in quite a few of these. They're uh, small hawthorn bushes. There's another one there. Um, there's quite a lot of those scattered around. And even more in this patch near the uh, what will be the pond area. So I'm going to just take the wheelbarrow, shovel, and dig a few of those out and uh, you can check in and see how I get along in a short while. Well, if there's one thing I'm not short of on uh, this land it's small sapling trees and of course grass uh, so this is going to take a little while but uh, let's uh, keep cracking on. Just having a quick look down this end of the field because I noticed and heard quite a few pheasants this morning. They're in this long grass somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, but they're definitely in here. Don't know if they're going to show themselves or not. Where are they? They're all probably looking at me laughing now from some little clump of bushes somewhere that I can't see. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to show themselves. You watch as soon as the camera goes off, they all start flying around. The sun's just starting to try and get out of those clouds. I've managed to get a few are those sapling trees planted up on that uh, hedge line along the road there. You can actually see probably from here where the gaps are, though I doubt you'll see the little trees I've stuck in to fill the gaps out. Yep, these pheasants are not going to pop out. They are definitely in here somewhere. Just don't want to show themselves. Right, enough of the... Oh, there we go, there he is. Two of them, you see? Two males digging away into this big overgrowth here. There they go. As 
so they're definitely here. Another little job I want to look at this morning, well actually not so little a job, there's a big overgrown area here, you can see probably all of the rose hip bushes and the bramble bushes, but here, not far off the middle of the field, there's allegedly 10 tonnes of aggregate. Now I'm looking at the pile of what looks like 10 tonnes surrounded by a little breeze block wall uh, but it's so overgrown I can't really tell and I've just knocked a little hole in the top of this um, I thought it was solid but clearly it isn't I reckon that the rabbits have made a little house inside there um, but it needs to come out because at some point the tractor is going to come in hopefully to get rid of all of this good luck with that I think because there's an awful lot of trees buried in there as well some of them are quite big um, but yeah I want to basically have a look and see what is in here and whether this aggregate will be good enough to uh, to go down at the entrance where you drive in so lots of back breaking work today hopefully the back is up for it but we shall see That's another sizable chunk cleared out, but uh, as always, lots of rubbish to get rid of. I've cleared all the way around and uh, raked it up, exposed that uh, area with all of the <coughs> aggregate or hardcore, whatever you want to call it. So, just got to get all this bagged up and then we'll see what's next on the agenda but uh, good progress well that's all of the cuttings gathered up it's looking a lot better a lot more open in this patch downside is I've got three <laughs> wanton bags of crap to get rid of but uh, it is looking better a lot better I'm going to just sit down for five minutes, have a cup of coffee and summon up the courage to uh, start hauling those around. Sometimes it's the uh, little things that make all the difference. Well that's the three bags emptied and it's raining again. I've just done a little bit more clearing out just in this little corner piece here and I've also
cleared out a little bit more into here so I'm going to gather all that up and uh, we'll see how it is with the rain once I've done that but it is starting to come down quite heavy now lots and lots of geese flying over again today they ought to be coming down and sitting on my field I'd have some free meat bit of a break in the rain so I've got two more bags pretty much full one more third one to go so I think what I'm going to do is before it starts raining again I'll just use up the last of my petrol to dig out a bit more in here and see if I can't open it up like I have done over here and over here steady away and we'll see how we get on well that's about it for today I have cleared out quite a lot more actually all the way through here freed up a load more trees the mound of aggregates gonna have to wait until tomorrow then of course there's all this other that I've been doing over the last couple of weekends as well and I've got two bags full one left I'll fill that tomorrow and then get rid of them but that's it for today I'm knackered I need to go home have a shower and then I need to get some shopping done so we'll see what happens tomorrow well that's it for this video and hopefully that's it before cutting the grass by hand I'm hoping that next weekend the tractor is going to turn up and we can get the whole field down rather than me just pottering around on my own with a strimmer uh, I'll be down again tomorrow not quite sure what I'm going to be doing you'll have to keep an eye out for that uh, if you did like the video please do click on the like button also feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so as always welcome any comments questions or suggestions you might have just leave them in the comment section below but for now thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video